Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in the city of Belen in the state of Para, northern Brazil in the Amazon. There's such a street food culture. There's an incredible vibrancy of local products and ingredients. Today we're gonna go on a street food tour of Belen. We're gonna eat some incredible Belém Amazon street food. We're beginning this street food tour at the market Vero Peso. This is one of the the main landmarks of the city. It's one of the it's a historical market. It's full of food, unique food from this region of the Amazon. I'm going to share all the street food with you on this Belém Amazon street food tour today. Just quickly about Belém. Um, this is a city in the state of Para, and Para is it's still in the Amazon rainforest, but it's more close towards the towards the coast, towards the Atlantic coast, to, towards the Caribbean. Uh, but this is still part of the Amazon. This is one of the richest states of Brazil with the fruit, with the natural resources. They're very, very well known for the acai, the best acai maybe in the world. Just tons and tons of freshwater river fish. We're just quickly stopping by the main fish market area. This is where they sell fish, all from the Amazon, all from this region. But actually yesterday, the day before, and I'll, I'll link the video below, we came to this market, we bought some fish to cook. Today we're not gonna buy any fish, we're going on a street food tour, but we're just passing through the fish market. It's always good to pass through the fish market. It's mostly fish, but they do also have some shrimp, they do also have crabs, uh, but yeah. Really, the main thing to buy here is fish. All sorts of different types of fish. How many kilos is it? Quantos kilos? Twenty-five kilos. Caraca, um dentão, Love the way he's like filleted. He's like staked out that entire fish, yet it's still connected. Moving out of the fish section in, there's food stalls outside, there's fruits and vegetables, there's herbs, there's uh, spices, blooming spices. This is the tukupi, right? One of the main ingredients, one of the main seasonings and sauces in this region of the Amazon in Brazil is tukupi. And tukupi is the manioc, like a fermented manioc sauce. We will for sure be eating some of that today. Man, the spices here, the chilies, I love how they just bottle the chilies. Some of them are marinated again in that tukupi. There's pepper, there's cumin, there's coriander seeds, there's all sorts of different peppers and chilies and chili powders. This is just a vibrancy a harmony of spices. An incredible stall, all like natural medicinal store. There's there's perfumes, but then also, yeah, all the natural medicines. There must be like a dozen different types of herbs and leaves, all for different purposes that she's selling as well. We made it to the section in the market where they're selling dried shrimp. Valeu. <laughs> Especially used in a dish called takaka, which is a soup that we're gonna eat later on today. One of the best dishes of this region. So the jamburana. Cachaça de jambu. He's just giving us some jambu cachaça. This is um, cachaça is the sugarcane liquor, and jambu is a it's a flower plus leaves that give a numbing sensation. Wow. Oh, that's that's good. That's like herbaceous. That's floral. Immediately, you can feel your tongue kind of sizzling, tingling. Mm. Ainda tem para vender, tia? Tem para vender? Já sou bem magotão. Vai sopa de carne? Tá? It's beef soup. Ah, okay. Beef. Let's try beef soup. Yeah. A tia aqui tá vendendo mocotó pimenta. Right across from the jambu stall, uh, he is chopping up Brazil nuts. We're gonna try those later. Uh, but right then, the, the man chopping up the Brazil nuts, um, a very friendly lady, she came by with a whole tray of home cooked food. She had two different dishes one is the cow hoof stew, one is the chicken soup. She added in some chili, and I think we add in some of the cassava powder flakes. Actually, it's not a chicken soup, it's a beef soup. There's looks like there's some pasta in there. Try some of those Brazil nuts, though. Yeah, yeah. 
mix. Now you mix. You just hit it. Yes, he is so awesome. We're eating off of his Brazil nut stall booth. He's so cool. First taste of the soup. Oh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, man, that is amazing. Cheers. Cheers. That is so good. Sabroso. Sabroso. Depende do peso. Castanha também no Pará. He's right across from the jambu. He's like talking about the jambu liquor. Oh, it's the jambu fruit. The, the berry or the, the flower. And by the way, that soup is just, that's incredibly tasty. It's meaty, it's hearty. Obrigado. He's so friendly, he just ordered a uh, half a shot of jambu, which is the jambu, cachaça de jambu, which is the, the sugar cane liquor. To go with the soup. Immediately, that just numbs your. <laughs> Immediately, that just numbs your tongue. Oh, it's good. I'm gonna chase that with some more of the the beef soup. That soup is incredible. Ela passa por aqui vendendo aqui para os parceiros aqui da Castanha. Some of the actual, this is the jambu flour, but I'm gonna eat it sparingly because this thing could be really strong. Keep it on my tongue, dude. Oh yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, I gotta take a little more. But wow, dude, the flour. Oh, that is amazing. Dude, I think it might be stronger than Sichuan pepper. Wow. My mouth is just like fizzing and salivating. And like, I can't feel the tip of my tongue now. Oh man. And like citrus juice is just flowing from my taste buds. Oh yeah, immediate, like a rush. <laughs> that really plays with your mouth. Like a, it's so dandelion or something. But it's like so similar to Sichuan pepper, but fast. Mmm, the beef is tender, it's so flavorful, and I can't feel my mouth or my tongue right now. Oh wow, that is incredible. It's so milky when it's raw like that. The nutrition, the fat, the oils just juicing out. I know when you're in Belém do Pará, Come check him out. He's selling awesome Brazil nuts. He's such a friendly guy. Obrigado, man. Obrigado. Valeu, Adriano. Tamo junto. Valeu. The Brazil nuts. It's almost like a coconut looking. There's just Brazil nuts everywhere in this market and now we just came across it. It almost looks like a coconut. That's where the Brazil nuts come from in the tree. They hang in this little pod that looks like a coconut. Locally, they call the Brazil nuts castana do Pará. The like cashews of Pará. The sun is just all of a sudden blazing hot, so we stopped for a juice. She's serving all sorts of different fruit juices, local fruit juices. I ordered the kupasu, which is the fruit that comes in that giant pod. Um, and then they take out the flesh pulp. It's like pudding inside of that pod. And she's gonna blend that up into a juice. This is just the pure fruit blended, no sugar, no anything. Oh man, that's so refreshing. It's cool, it's sour and milky, sour and milky, like soursop. I think I said that already before when you tried the fruit, the actual fruit. It's like naturally milky sourness. That is just absolutely necessary when we were walking around the market in Belen. Back one to The cacao fruit juice from the chocolate pod tree. Oh, that's nice too. Sour and sweet. Okay, and then this one is the bakuri. Mm. It tastes similar to lychee, lychee for me. Acerola, acerola. No idea what it even is. No it looks kind of like a tomato. No sugar. Similar to a very ripe guava. Hey, tucuma. Tucuma, she polpas. Uh, polpas? 
Bom dia, bom dia. So we're just stopping by on the outskirts of the market. There's an entire food court system, like a massive food court, all sorts of local Belém Amazon foods from this state, from Pará. We're gonna start eating now. O que é farofa de avião para quem não sabe? O avião é aquele camarão bem pequenininho, fazendo um bobó de camarão. Bom dia, bom dia. Bom dia, tá saindo um bobó de camarão com uma caixeira. Bobo de camarão. Bobo de camarão. Yeah, which is kind of like a shrimp yuca cream. In a yuca cream. In a yuca cream. So what's amazing is that she has arranged for a number of the amazing ladies in this market to all cook and all serve us at her restaurant. So she's, this is amazing. We're gonna get to try a few different dishes. It smells so good. Obrigado. Oh, it smells so good. Obrigado. Moving on to the next stall to see what she is cooking. Cooking all of it for us. Você está saindo uma refeição lá para fora, que é o filhote, tá? Posta. Aí já em seguida já vou fazer o meu prato para colocar. Yeah, after okay, she okay. gets done with the fish, she's gonna cook our dish. Oh. Eu vou fazer para lá um oh. camarão empanado com ervas e gergelim. And then the fourth stall again, she's frying up some fish, but also frying up some shrimp putting them into a batter. It looks like there's some herbs and some things in the batter, then she dunks them into the oil. Oh man, those smell so good. Yeah. Herbs and stuff. Green bread. Oh, shit, it's not so good. Oh, Lana. Vai, Lenny. Peraí que eu vou montar outro prato rapidinho, tá? Oh, she puts that under the fish. Yeah, green seed then, right? Nice. Wow, that's an amazing dish. Chicório favaca. All of the ladies are so incredibly nice and friendly, and their cooking is shining. Kind of like the sauce, uh, the salsa sauce with fried fish and rice. Ah, bom peixe. E perdão. Peixado frito, frito. Sim, frito, frito, frito. Eu vou empanar. Ah, fritar. Fritar. Ah, ok. His wife likes you on the internet. Obrigado, man. That's why he wants to be his esposa. Esposa, minha. Hey! Thank you. Bom dia. Estamos aqui com a arca pra gente hoje. Eu estou preparando. Arroz de jambu. It's just like never ending sea of cooked food here. The next lady is making jambu rice. You know that jambu flour that we tasted that numbs your, your mouth? Those are the leaves cooked with rice with a stew, like a stroganoff style stew. Okay. Eliana. Eliana, Eliana, Eliana. She is an amazing, an amazing lady. Estou encantada, apaixonada, amei a visita deles. Obrigado, obrigada. She is amazing. She is taking care of us. Yeah, it is. Oi, Dona, tudo bem? Eliana is the most amazing lady ever. She um, knows all of her friends at the market and instead of having to go to every single stall to eat a different dish, she's arranged with all her friends to prepare a dish and then bring them back to her restaurant so we can try all the diversity, all the different dishes. She is an amazing lady. Tudo bem? Tudo bem. Bom dia, bom dia. É a Rosiane Gomes. Estão no prato. Eliana says this is the best acai in the market, the pure acai. Uh, we were trying to look for the white acai, but it's not seasoned. I've never even seen it before, but he has the purple acai. We're going to have a cup here. Just got to. When you see acai, the pure thing, you have to. Oh, it's so good. This one is so thick. Wow. It does remind me of avocado, blended avocado. It's so creamy, it's so rich, it's so... Mm, it's amazing. That's so thick. Wow, that is pure acai. That is amazing. Acai do Leo. That's the spot. Um cubo que reduzido, uma farofa de soja. Breaded, breaded fish, shrimp, and 
Friday. The bee, flower, rice. We've stopped over at Eliana's mom. She is the oldest, the longest lady serving food here for 47 years. The ladies here are legends of Belem food. She wants me to quickly try the soup, which is jambu, and tukupi, which is the manioc. Oh wow, that's sour at first, then kind of sweet. Eliana is now preparing her main dish, which is like a paella, like a rice mixed dish. Vermelho. Shrimp, mussels, and crab all go in, which is all deshelled already. Tukupi. Tukupi. It's a flood of Remember the tukupi that we saw throughout the market? That's the fermented manioc cassava like byproduct juice. It has a sour taste and it's used in so many different dishes. That smells so good. Maravilha. 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 Yeah, Maravilha X is maravilhoso. Maravilhoso. Maravilha is like wonders. Pirarucu. Oh. Pirarucu. Pirarucu. Pescado. Is. Jambu cozido. Jambu. 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 É. She added in some of the jambu leaves. This is one of the greatest rice dishes. And then she topped it with crab legs, crab claws, and shrimp. Obrigado. That is an incredible dish. They have literally set out an entire like street, like right next to the river buffet. All of the different dishes that we saw being cooked, all of the different dishes from her friends. She even just told us like it's an honor for them and it's even, it's a massive honor for us to be here. Uh, the different dishes, the cooking, they cook with so much passion, so much love. The hospitality is, it will, it touches your heart. This is some of the most amazing hospitality, some of the most amazing ladies in the world. So much food, there's such a variety. We're gonna just kind of do a buffet style, get plates and just go down the line and get a little bit of everything. Almost forgot I had, I stuck the fork and spoon in my pocket. No, it's fine, you can take How is the food, Bruno? Delicious. Everything's so good. Man, this has been like a three hour session of running around the market from box stall to stall, feeling the love from every single lady. Oh, wow. The shrimp, the batter, the herbs, the sesame. Mm. And that sauce. I just don't know if I, I can even come close to remembering all the names, all the different ingredients with all the diversity of food. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, obrigado. She's adding on, sprinkling on something onto my foot. Oh, sesame seeds. That is service. That is hospitality. I think this is another tukupi paste or something. Manioc paste with shrimp in it. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think that's the shrimp with the manioc paste. It has a like gummy, sticky texture to it. That tastes incredible. The fresh vegetables, the chilies in there. The, the fried fish and the tukupi and the jambu leaves. The fried crispy fish, the sourness of that tukupi soup. Pirarupu, this is the one. From the, that huge fish, right? This is a nugget of the piraruku. It's so crispy and that fish is so pure. It's almost like chicken, like fried chicken. Is he selling something? Yes. Okay. Flash drives with thousands of music. Olha, nosso pen drive baixou de 40 para 20, viu gente? Bem no No idea how spicy this chili is. Oh wow. That's pretty spicy. Oh wow, that's flavorful. 
Okay, next up I'm gonna try this fish, shrimp sauce. Or maybe, I think they're served together. I think I'm gonna grab a, a shrimp in. I'm gonna scoop up a piece of shrimp with a piece of fish. Mm. Oh, the fried fish. That like shrimp sauce, you can taste the herb or the vegetable in there. Arroz do jambu. The next dish is arroz do jambu, which is the jambu. I already tried, this is the jambu flour, but then the jambu leaves also give off a numbing sensation and that's just like folded with jambu leaves and then served with some kind of a like creamy stew. Oh wow. Mm. Mm. I haven't felt the numbing yet, but you can taste like the slight bitterness of the jambu leaves. I need to have some acai next. Having a bowl. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful color. You cannot get enough acai when you're here. And add a little bit of the tapioca, which is, uh, I think it is a product of the cassava as well. But that's very, very light, like popcorn. Mm. Mm. Even after like three plates of food, there's still dishes I haven't tried yet. I'm moving on. Let's try some of the more of the fried fish. There's some cassava and shrimp. There's some more vegetables as well. Let's try some of this one is shrimp. You can see if you look really closely, you can see these little baby tiny shrimp dried with some of the cassava powder. Mm. The vibrancy of that shrimp shines. Salted dried shrimp, like like tastes like shrimp paste. I found a little bit more of the tukupi chili sauce. I wanted to add to the, the fish. Mm. Oh, this tukupi sauce, you can taste like the ferment, again, the tukupi, the fermented manioc, but the chili's in there. Every dish different, every dish from Pada State. The flavors, the vibrancy, the amazing ladies who prepared the food for us. But that makes your mouth like, that just gives your mouth a whole nother dimension. Not only mouth numbing, but like mind numbing flour. This one is the fried filioche. Um, I'm gonna add some of this relish to it. There's like tomatoes and onions in it, and then chase it with a chili. Those chilies will wake you up. Ooh. It's lunchtime now, about noon or about one, and just now the stalls are just packed. This entire area, the ambience, the atmosphere, the vibrance, the friendliness next to the river. It's stunning. I'm just blown away. I don't even, I can't even say anything anymore. Muito obrigado. Muito obrigado. Amei tudo. Tô muito feliz. Muito obrigado. Volte ao Brasil e venha nos visitar. Obrigado. Thank you. From her heart, she is awesome. When you are in Belém, you like it's not even a choice. You have to come see Eliana. Her stall is Eliana Kelly. Eliana Kelly. Eliana Kelly, and she is. Box, so they call the boxes the stalls. Box 49. Possibly the most friendly lady in all of Brazil. Muito obrigado. Muito obrigado. Muito obrigado. Boxo, boxo número. Sim. Uh, número. Oh, 37. What is that? She made it for us. It's out of a fruit. Obrigado. Food is just never ending. Auntie has. Vinho de Buriti. Vino de Buriti. You just yeah. drink it from the bowl? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of like Buriti wine. It's cold. It's a fruit. Oh, wow. That's so thick. That's this fruit. That's this fruit. It's sour. It's thick. It's like hearty. Oh man, that is beautiful. Try this, man. <laughs> what is so that? Many new things. Fresh, dude. It's this random fruit. Wow. Another fruit. Another Amazon fruit. It just, it just does not stop. It looks like carrot. It's like pumpkin juice. <laughs> She is box number 46. Muito obrigado. Ciao. 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 Obrigado. 
Oh man, this is jungle pumpkin mustache. Do you want a jungle jungle pumpkin mustache? Oh, but yes, I do. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just like, oh man, this has been one of the greatest days of my life. I think it's well beyond words. Just yeah, it's unexplainable from the heart. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for arranging, man. You're welcome. It's Always. This has been please come back. Incredible. Absolutely uh, incredible. Come back already. <laughs> I wanna. I wanna just stay here. <laughs> We still had me doing a little dance. Yes. <laughs> from here, we're walking back to the car, and there's a couple of afternoon and evening street foods from Belém that we've got to try. It's about 4 p.m. and just after 4 p.m. in the afternoon, this is the time when people in Belém eat a dish called takaka, and this is one of the dishes I was most looking forward to eating coming here. My name is Diva. Diva. Jambu. Yeah, jambu. Takaka. That's the the takaka with. Wow. She not only has the takaka, but she has like some full dishes as well, but mainly we came here to eat the takaka, which she's gonna prepare right now. I'm ordering a takaka and a vatapa. I love the name, sir, but you can get so confused. Olha o aroma, ó. Tem uma só aqui a tela, Jesus. Vatapa first, okay. Vatapa. And then some of the jumbo leaves? Yeah. Jumbo. Ah, você está regando. <laughs> oh man, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous dish. One of the most beautiful dishes I've seen in a very, very long time. But this is one of the main dishes of Para. The main soup broth is made from tukupi, which we've had already today many times. It is uh, made from fermented manioc, so it has a kind of vinegary sour taste to it. But they take some of that soup, they put it into the gourd, it's always served in a gourd. Then she takes some of the manioc gum, like very sticky, very pasty, that's the thickener. Uh, she adds that to your soup, so that's gonna make it heartier, thicker, richer. Then she adds in a bunch of the jambu leaves, you know that jambu flower that we were eating and we already had jambu today? It's a numbing leaf flower plant, amazing. Um, and adds that in, and then adds in some chili, usually just some of the chili uh, juice, but we got some of the floating chilies to make it extra spicy. Then some of the salted shrimp, and then fills your bowl with the, the uh, tukupi soup. I've seen people just kind of drink it, and you get this little stick fork to eat the, the jambu leaves. Mix that around. Oh man, you can smell the chilies, you can smell the sourness. I think I'm just gonna, I see lots of people just drinking the soup first. I'll try the soup first, just drink it. Oh, 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 wow. Unbelievable, it has this sour vinegary taste immediately on my first, first sip. I can feel the, just a slight numbing. It's not like a huge numbing sensation, but you can feel it, your tongue tingle. And then the chilies, because she added in all of that chili juice and the chilies floating. Oh wow, that's just soothing and stunning. And you can feel like the thickness, how the, the gum of the tapioca has sort of thickened already. Mm. Mm. Absolutely stunning. They have a texture similar to spinach, but a little tougher, a little more, not quite as slimy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, some of the gumminess is still in there. Can you see that? That's some of the gumminess. I'm gonna add some of these chilies, try some of that gumminess with a, maybe with a shrimp now. Dude, that. That's a very salty shrimp because it is a salted preserved shrimp. That contrast, the sour soup, the tingling soup, the, the salty shrimp, the chilies. I think I'm just in love with this dish. Okay, let's try the takaka. 
No, let's try the the the, the matapa. matapa. Kind of like a thick, starchy looking paste. I've never had it before, but she topped it with shrimp, more of the jambu leaves, rice, and then we got the deluxe version, I think, with crab claws. I'll just try some of the the matapa first. Wow. Mmm. That is like a very sticky, extremely smooth texture. But the flavor is amazing. Like, it's like gummy. It's really sticky. Not quite as thick and sticky as peanut butter, but like a very smooth peanut butter, almost. Okay, crab claw. Oh, it almost has a bacon taste to it. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. If you were to eat this whole plate, it would definitely fill you up. Okay. Gotta taste that with some of the ka ka ka. This is a stunning, stunning dish. Cheers. Oh man, my mouth is on fire. She added in so many chilies to the special bowl of takaka. My mouth is numb. Mm. For sure, one of my favorite dishes in Brazil so far. I'm just sweating with happiness right now. Egua, a comida estava ótima. Something like that. Egua, a comida está ótima. The best. Crazy delicious. It's the type of dish, if I lived here, there's no doubt I would be in the habit of eating it every single afternoon. There's no way I could not. Obrigado. Again, an amazing, amazing lady, Diva. Obrigado. Obrigado. Come to see her when you come Obrigado. to Belém. Obrigado. Obrigado. That was spectacular. Wow. What's the next place we're going? Rosario. Rosario. We are going to eat Leitão, which is like pork and a type of hot dog ah. that has uh, ground beef. the French bread or the hot dog bread. Yeah, it's one of the most well-known street food stalls in the city of Rosario. They serve a number, two main things. One is like a hot dog with ground beef topping. One is slices of the pork leg. That's a massive pork leg. Um, they fry it up, they put it in a bun, they season it. This is beautiful. There's tables along the sidewalk and chairs, plastic chairs. It smells so good. And this is gonna be the final thing that we eat on this tour today. They've been serving this for 47 years. Bada bang. And the other one is hot dog. Oh, yeah. What's the shirt? Yeah. What's amazing about food like this, about a street food like this, is I think every single culture around the world has some formation of this meat stuffed into a bun with some kind of mayonnaise -y sauces to go with it. Tem pimenta da casa? Sim, tem. Tem aquela aí. Vou fazer o teste drive. Ó, maionese de repolho. Vai ser essa fera aí. This type of food, this type of combination, this type of construction is just, it's universal. It crosses all cultural boundaries. It can be enjoyed by everyone. They're beautiful, just tucked into a handheld bun. Just take a look on the inside here. That's like a coleslaw, oh, all of that pork. Oh wow, that is quality. You can taste the lemon juice on there, the lime juice. The coleslaw almost like just kind of melts into it. Now we just need to try some of that sauce. It's seriously incredible. It's so like, like, not complex tasting, but just perfect. Like, just as perfect as it needs to be. This sauce is delicious as well. A little bit spicy. You taste the sourness of the chilies, like the... I'm just guessing Tukupi. 
since this is a Tukupi city filled with hot dog and oh, I love the move. He actually sliced the hot dog maybe into threes and then he wiped, he swiped in some butter. Did you see that? Dude, he swiped in a bunch of butter and then fried it on a hot plate. And, and ground beef, right? And then the ground beef came on like as a topping. The ground beef. Yeah, what a move. What a genius hot dog move. Let's just get a look at that ground beef in there. Just, yeah, that is absolutely awesome. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some of that. That is amazing. Oh wow, the hot dog, the ground beef has kind of a, a spicy human taste. The tomatoes, the onions, the tukupi chili sauce. You're just gonna want the sauce to just flow out. Moving back over to the to the pork sandwich. And this tukupi hot sauce, like it doesn't seem hot at first, but then your lips start burning. It's actually decently spicy. It is amazing. I want to fully hydrate it. It's really good. Like the hot dog is awesome too, but the pork, the roasted pork, which is really the, the standout one for me. You're gonna to want to lick your fingers. You're probably gonna, no, it's probably not appropriate, but I would just squeeze this into my mouth. It's so good. <laughs> Amazing. An amazing way to end this entire Belém Amazon Brazilian food tour. Cannot even begin to explain this unbelievable day, the hospitality, the amount of people that we met all the way from the beginning of the day in the market to the lunch in the food court to the to some the extra final pork, end. The to final the finale. End. The final oh, end. All oh, the pure steak. Delicious. Have a bite. Yes, thank you. We gotta cheers it. Oh, nice. With Santo Cupi, huh? I want to shower in that. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say a massive thank you to all of our friends in Belém. And also yesterday, if you haven't seen that video, I'll have it linked below, the acai fish day harvesting acai, it wouldn't have been possible with all of them. So my, I'm extremely grateful. Belém is amazing. Para, the food in Para is outstanding. Finally, one more thing. If you haven't already watched this entire Brazil food series, we're traveling around Brazil, just learning about the incredible diversity, the food, the people have been so amazing to us. I'll have the link in the description box, but you can watch the entire playlist, all the videos. I wanna say a huge thank you again for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not, already subscribed. Click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Good night from Belém, an amazing city in the world, and see you on the next video.